Hi, I'm Tira. I own the art shop Vintage Watercolors, and today's Crap With Me will introduce a beginner's guide to carving and printing with Lino Cut. Follow along as we make a mushroom. I made this mushroom for my monthly art boxes, and I am incredibly proud with how it turned out. I barely touched uh, Lino Printing before, and I'm actually really surprised at how less complicated it was than I was thinking it was going to be. So let's get to it. First, the supplies. I'm one to try to use what I have at my disposal. I don't like wasting supplies and I definitely don't like shopping for supplies that just get used once in a while. Um, with that, I'm gonna share what I use for this project. If you've printed with wood block or lino blocks before, please tell me what tools you used in the comments below. The supplies that I use and needed are listed. A brayer, it's that roller looking thing. Block ink, I prefer the water soluble because I want my tools to clean easily and water soluble is usually better for the environment. Definitely need the actual wood block or lino block uh, to cut with. That's literally the whole point. You'll need a carving tool, one built for wood cutting or lino cutting. A flat surface for mixing and evening the ink. The paper or craft board for your prints. I've heard thick paper is the best because some inks bleed through. Last thing, you'll need a pencil for sketching your designs. Sketching. I sketched out my mushroom. At first I wanted a round head, but as I thought more about it, I changed my mind and squished it since mushrooms aren't really perfectly round. And I love the idea of having a mushroom that had some character to it. Lino cuts can be very fun to do detail works with, but you have to think backwards a little bit. The lines you sketch are lines that you're going to remove. So if you want strong, thick lines, you need to remember to invert your thinking and cut around those lines. When I sketch the mushroom head, I also use my pencil to shade it in to help me remember to not remove the inside of the mushroom. When carving, please be extra careful. I did cut myself later in this video. It is not shown and there is no blood, but you might see there's like a little nick on my finger. Um, it's really minimal. Because I had used more pressure and forced to remove some lino, um, my finger was kind of in the way. So of course, if a metal sharp tool is aimed at your fingers, it's going to get got. Um, just be careful. Also a high note, I found that carving lino was really relaxing, a little frustrating because I like things to get done faster, but the sounds that lino carving makes is actually really soothing. It reminds me of my paint making and the molar as it drags across the slab. It's very similar to like rain on a tin roof in my opinion. It's got those same vibes. Anyways, uh, enjoy 30 seconds of carving sounds. By this point, I realized I was using a detail blade and not the wide blade, which is a little embarrassing, but once I switched it up, it was significantly easier to carve away. Uh, back to the detail blade, I made little circle motions to make the small circles on the mushrooms. I don't know if this is the proper technique. Professionals, please don't at me in the comics, but this worked for me. Um, if there is an easier way to do this, um, go ahead and let me know. I added more detail lines, being careful not to remove what I shouldn't. After all that, we get to ink. I said that's so weird. Grab the leftover cardboard, make sure it's clean by dry wiping any dust or weird particles off. You don't want that in your ink. Grab something to scoop the ink out and blob it on there. You want a good amount because you don't want splotchy ink prints unless if you do, and that's your creative vision. Then um, then we're going to uh, bray? We'll, we'll brayer. We'll bray the ink, you know what I mean. Take your brayer and move the ink until it's equally sticking on the brayer. Once it feels even, you'll you'll bray it, you'll rub it. That sounds worse. You're going to go over the block cut that you did. Before you put it on your expensive paper or craft board, do test it out on either a scrap cardboard or a regular sheet of paper, something that you can test it to make sure the cuts are exactly how you want it to be. You can see here, I needed a little bit more ink. After that, let's print. You keep adding ink, press evenly on the material and carefully remove. Do this as many times as you'd like. Make sure you clean up any messes with soap and water. The water soluble ink makes it really easy to clean up. Cool, you did it. Have a great day. Follow, like, subscribe, sell your soul, do all the things. Most importantly, keep on crafting.